Welcome to my home network tour. I'll be showing you how I've set up my home network using Unify hardware. If you're looking to build your own home network or just curious to see how I've set mine, then stick around because I'm going to show you how everything works. I'll also be including a little price tracker for each hardware component of the network. You'll see the total at the end. Let's start by taking a look at my distribution panel. This is where the optical cable comes into my house. Here, you can see several devices including the FTTP NTD, also known as the Fiber to the Premises Network Termination Device. This is responsible for converting the fiber optic signal into an electrical signal for the modem. This device is provided by my internet service provider and it's the first device that receives the fiber signal. The next device in line is the fiber modem. This receives the electrical signal from my network termination device and outputs an ethernet signal, which connects directly to my network gateway. This modem is also provided by my internet service provider and it's specifically designed to work with their network. After the modem, the network traffic flows through Ubiquiti's unified security gateway. This is a device that provides firewall protection and other security features. The security gateway is connected to an 8 port Unify Power Over Ethernet or PoE switch. This provides power and network connectivity. PoE allows the switch to power certain devices and provide Ethernet at the same time, including my wireless access points and also my security cameras, eliminating the need for a separate power supply. I also have what's known as a Unify controller or cloud key. This is a device that allows me to easily manage and monitor my Unify network. I'll go into more depth on this controller a little later. Lastly, the distribution conduit contains five ethernet cables that run throughout my house, connecting my ethernet access points. I'll give you a tour of where they come out and what I have connected. Starting on the ground floor, I have an ethernet access point in my workroom. This is connected to a NetGit 4 port PoE hub. My two desktop computers are also connected to this hub, as well as a wireless access point, giving Wi-Fi coverage to the entire ground floor. I also have a security camera located outside my front door that is connected to this 4 port PoE switch. Moving up to the first floor, I have another access point in the living room. This is also connected to a Netgear 4 port PoE switch. Connected to this switch is my two home servers. my printer and a ubiquity wireless access point. This gives coverage of the entire second floor. On the third floor, I have two ethernet access points in the master bedroom. These are not currently connected to any devices. On the third floor is also a guest bedroom. This contains the exit point for the final distribution panel ethernet cable. I have a third Ubiquiti wireless access point connected here, which gives coverage to the entire third floor. My outdoor wireless security camera is also able to communicate with this access point. Next up, I want to show you the Unify controller, which is a piece of hardware that runs the software that I use to manage and monitor my Unify network. The Unify controller is a centralized interface that allows me to manage all of my Unify devices, including access points, switches, and gateways. One of the things I really like about the Unify controller is how easy it is to use. I can configure my access points and other network devices. I can also monitor network traffic and performance, as well as generate reports on network activity and usage. So I've just logged into the Unify dashboard and the home page contains a big overview of everything that's happened. So this shows the, the devices connected in the last 24 hours and the highest traffic 
protocols that have gone through. This also shows the active clients. So you can see when I've come and left the house. The second tab contains all the devices that are on the network, including the topology. The third tab shows me all the specific unified devices I have. And this also allows me to specify when I want to update the firmware on each of these devices. This tab shows all the attached devices, which is similar to the topology page. And this page shows a more detailed breakdown of the traffic that's been flowing through. This page shows the Wi-Fi devices and the other Wi-Fi networks around, as well as their signal strength. And I can also go in and inspect each of these. This tab contains some of the advanced features, such as port forwarding. That's a quick overview of my home network using Unify hardware. If you're interested in learning more about how to set up your own home network or tech, make sure to subscribe to my channel, as I'll be covering more topics related to home servers in the future. Also leave a comment if you have questions or want to say hi. I will personally answer each and every one of you.